everyone and welcome back to another episode of police simulator patrol officers i hope you're having a wonderful day of course happy wednesday or whenever you are watching this and as you can see we have a partner for today's episode the wonderful geezer gaming is going to be coming out with us and uh going on patrol with us how's it going geezer thank you for being here today really uh thankful that you could make it well, I'm super happy to be here. It's been far too long since we've had a chance to play together. So uh, I'm really honored to be here and uh, looking forward to having some fun. Yeah, that's been too long. It was like the 200th special, I think. That was a long time ago. A very long it time ago. It sure was. <laughs> and yes, if you have seen my community post, I'm going on vacation from the 13th to the 18th, which is next Monday. Um, so there won't be as much content to enable me to get effectively what is two weeks worth done in a space of five days. So obviously we've got this episode coming out today. Um, and then we've got City Bus Manager, which I'm recording back to back and releasing one episode on this Thursday and then the following episode on the other Thursday, which is next week. So I won't see your feedback and be able to put it in the um, next episode because obviously I'm recording them back to back. So if that does happen, then please don't be worried about it. That is why. And then obviously we've got Police Sim on the um, this Friday and the following Friday. So yeah, that's what's going on with that. Anyway, we're going to go and start over here in Brighton, which is going to be Chester. Alrighty. And 119, you can show me 1041, 108. Oh, look at that. There's our wonderful partner for the day. Yes, sir. He looks so handsome. <laughs> well, good thing he doesn't look like me then. <laughs> uh, 119, show me 1097 code onto the 20 of that truck dealing. Which, which is um, um, which... literally just across the street. Uh, we'll leave the car here. How about that? We'll just, um, yeah, run over here. Honestly, this is really great. Yes. Now we've got to do our usual trick of um, pretend that we're <laughs> blending in with the scenery. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, nice. Oh, I think I, yeah, I see our gonna be that. friend over there. Yeah, gentleman in the uh, lemon t-shirt, blue pants. He's gonna, looks like he's a dealer. Or it's the woman I'm standing beside over here. Uh, I believe it's this male. I'm just gonna yep. clear some room. Yep. Oh, there it goes. Yep, yep. But being as there's two of us today, we can actually go after one each. How about that? Yeah, would you prefer the dealer or the yeah, uh, the other one? Yeah, I normally do the dealer, but obviously there's two of us, so I could take that dealer and you could take the buyer. Sounds good to me. Make sure the transaction's taken place, which it has. Merchandise has been handed over. And as soon as the buyer hands over the cash, we will move in. Okay, there we go. And 119, 1070. Uh, uh, he's running down the street. Come on, dude. Guy's literally just running down the street. No cares in the world. I've got one in custody over here, so... Excellent. This guy's fast. A... Marathon runner. All right, that's enough, sir. Quick... You're under arrest for distribution of narcotics. Be hands in the air. Okay, anything you say can will be scheduled a call of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, won't be appointed to you by the state of Franklin at no extra cost to you. Do you understand his rights? Do you have any questions for me, sir? 119, one in custody. Okay, perfect. Sir, anything on you is going to poke me at me, stick me, or otherwise? Okay, 119. Can I get a 32 down to my current 20 for a 715? 
ten four dispatch. Got a uh, double possession on this guy over here. Nice. Just just under the the limit for. Uh, okay. For the possession of marijuana. <laughs> hey, Get officer. The the stuff, thank you for coming out taking this suspect. I really do appreciate that. <laughs> Gotta check this van out quickly. Oh, the uh, van has yeah. an expired license plate. We've got a. Oh yeah. Red Crown vehicle here that's got a healthy smoke and tell pack. We'll go and have a work with them when we can. Uh, is that a wallet theft? Yes, it is. Oh my goodness. Are you serious? 119. Show me 1070. I'll, uh, I'll get the guy with the smoke and tailpipe. Tell him to pull over. All right. Sounds good. I hey, said stop running BPD. Oh, it does not want to let me, uh, let me see if I can get in the car here quick. Okay, and, uh, sir. At this time, you're going to be placed under arrest for wallet theft and for fleeing from law enforcement. Please turn around and place your hands behind your back for me. Anything you say you can and will be against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, won't be upon you. But the state of Franklin, no, she cost you. Do you understand these rights? Do you have any questions for me, sir? Excellent. 119, one in custody. Okay, so anything on here is going to poke me, hurt me, sick me, or otherwise. Okay, 119, can I get a 32 down to my current 20 for a 10 15? copy that, dispatch. been a long time since I've played with a partner. I just realized that I, uh, when I access the computer, it's, oh my goodness. Ah. Uh, when I access the computer, it's going to screw up anything that you were looking for there. I should have given you a heads up. Ah, that's fine. <laughs> All good. Uh, this, this driver that I pulled over for the smoke and tailpipe is running from me. <laughs> They're running from you? Yes. Unbelievable. And it won't let me tackle this guy. He's running from you for a smoking tailpipe? Yeah, I told him to get out of the car and I've never seen it happen before. He ran from me. Interesting. Yeah. I was uh, going to give him his DUI stuff and uh, yeah, he stepped onto the sidewalk and ran before I could even get onto the sidewalk. Unbelievable. It's a, it's a, it's a new one for me. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna get him. Okay, sir, it is your lucky day. Here is your wallet back. And you are most welcome. Here's a theft report for you. And you're free to leave. Have a wonderful day. Okay, let's go and see what my partner is up to. Ah, looks like he's got his man. I do, but because he ran, I wasn't able to DUI him, and I wasn't able to give him a ticket for his smoke and tailpipe. But luckily he ran, so he's getting arrested for fleeing, and he had a switchblade on him, so... I never even... Oh, look at him, he just ran. He's in cuffs running across the street through the park. <laughs> Uh, I didn't see, I didn't see anything. I, I'm gonna pretend the, the, I didn't see that. <laughs> the backup's trying to catch him. <laughs> oh my goodness. Backup got him. Good stuff.
Okay, there's quite a few <laughs> things in here. Got a couple of switchblades, firearm. Ah, uh, yes, I suppose we could have got them for a firearm possession as well, but I'd, I'd already called for transport. Because the car stuff wasn't working, I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to search the car and, and get them for any of that. One nineteen. Can I get a ten fifty one down to my car on twenty for an impounded vehicle? There we are. Ten four dispatch. I love how quick those uh, tow trucks are now. Right, really fast. One nineteen, you can show me code four ten eight. We got a wanted person. Yeah, one nineteen, show me ten ninety seven. Code one to explain how that wanted person over. Where are we looking? Well, that's good. We're not too too far away. Just nope. up the street a little here. Yeah, just up the street. Hang a right and then. Looks like they might be near the park. That's not a surprise. Those no. parks, they seem to be really good for... Uh, wanted people seem to just love hanging out in the parks for some reason. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit odd. Uh, what we're we looking at, Eon Massa, Caucasian female, brown hair, grey suit. It's going to be armed as well. It's like, it's almost going to be quicker to park the car and go for a walk. <laughs> yeah, nearly. Not far These guys there. in there. Oh my goodness. I think that taxi's running a red light. Everyone's at it today. Yeah. The traffic is uh, the usual. Yeah. People it's... running red lights, speeding. <laughs> yeah, I'm worried where are vehicles, you name it. Yeah. Right. One nineteen, show me at twenty or what that wanted person was last seen. I'm gonna be out looking for them over. All right, let's see where she's hiding. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, this could be her right in front of us. Uh, yeah, uh, I was just gonna say I that think could that's, be her. Uh, yeah, one nineteen, Sam. That's her. Just. Talking on the phone. Possible 20 on that suspect. Morning, ma'am. Commander Martin, Brown Police Department. Reason for the statement is the match description of wanted person. Okay, ma'am. Do you have any ID on you at all? Appreciate it, ma'am. Okay, what do we have here? Eon Massa. That is going to be who we're looking for. Okay. Excellent. Okay, ma'am, at this time, you're going to be placed under arrest for having an open warrant on your name, okay? Please turn around and place your hands behind your back for me. Anything you say can or will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, you won't be appointed to you by the state of Franklin. No, it cost you. Do you understand these rights? Do you have any questions for me, ma'am? Excellent. 119, one in custody. Okay, <laughs> ma'am, anything on you that's going to poke me, hurt me, stick me, or otherwise? Wow. OK, 
Okay. Wow. Okay, ma'am. You're going to be getting an additional charge for possession of a firearm without a permit. 119. Can I get a 32 down to my current 20 for a turn 15? Turn 4 dispatch. Well, I'm glad she didn't decide to uh, use that weapon. Right. It's always a good thing. <laughs> I was here for backup. Ah. I was ready to take her out. Doing a good job. <laughs> hey, officer, thank you for coming out and taking this suspect. They're all yours. 119, a wanted person is going to be 1015. The call is going to be code 4, and you can show me 10 8. 119, show me 23 on scene. Oh, here we are. Uh, what would you like me to do for you? Um, I'll secure the scene if you want to get some evidence markers out and start making a note of any evidence. I will certainly do that. Thank you, officer. Appreciate it. here okay well there we are I'm seen is secured yeah I don't see any other evidence aside from the couple that I've yes, found no, there right. so you've got pills more pills switch, yeah. switch blade over here I didn't even see that. Good eyes, good eyes. I'll uh, drop the marker there and get the pictures for you. Appreciate it. Okay, start interviewing it's it. witnesses. Morning, ma'am. Commander Martin and Brian Police Department. Do you mind telling me what happened here, what you saw? Thank you, ma'am. Really do appreciate that. Do you have any ID on you at all? Excellent. Okay, Kasumi Bird, that's going to be valid. And that's going to be clear and valid, ma'am. You're free to leave. You have a wonderful day. Good morning, oh. ma'am. Commander Martin, Brighton Police Department. Would you mind telling me what happened here, what you saw? Okay, ma'am. Appreciate that. Got any idea on you at all? Okay, Marine Costa, that's going to be expired. Okay, ma'am, at this time I'm going to be giving you a verbal warning for that expired ID. Please get a new distance as possible, okay? You are most welcome, ma'am. You're free to leave. You have a wonderful day. Do you want me to uh, do some questioning of witnesses as uh, well, or do you want to... Uh, uh, no, go for it, go for it. It sounds good. Uh, that female did not witness anything. <coughs> this female did. Morning, ma'am. Commander Martin, Brighton Police Department. Would you mind telling me what happened to what you saw? Thank you, ma'am. Appreciate that. Have you got any idea on you at all? Thank you very much, ma'am. Okay, Florence Papoutsis. Get there in a minute. <laughs> okay, she has an open warrant out for arrest. There it is. Okay, ma'am. At this time, you're going to be placed under arrest for having an open warrant out your name. Please turn around and place your hands behind your back for me. And anything you say kind of will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, one bit punchy, but instead of frankly, no, it's cost you. Do you understand his rights? And do you have any questions for me? Accident 119, one in custody. 
Okay, ma'am, anything on that's gonna poke me, hurt me, stick me, or otherwise. Okay, 119, can I get a 32 down to my current 20 for a 715? 10 for dispatch. Well, we've got a rather odd situation here as the person I'm questioning has a stolen ID with the same last name of the woman that you just arrested for an open warrant. <laughs> Interesting. There yeah, it is. So <laughs> Jerk and papoopsis. Yeah, so we're going to have to grab her for uh, a stolen ID here. They might be related. Never know. If we can throw anything else on here real quick. If she's got anything illegal on her person. That major crime scene is going to be code for, and I'm going to be out looking for a suspect over. Stand by for a 20 and a description. All right, <laughs> now we get to go and find this no good Nick. Yes, we do. One nineteen. I have a positive ID on a suspect. It's going to be Fox Cheryl. It's going to be a Hispanic female with grey hair. And they're going to be wearing a black shirt and a red skirt. And I'm going to be out looking for them. Over. Uh, I'll head uh, over to the east here while you're heading west. Okay, sounds good to me. See if we can get lucky and find her quick here. Have a feeling I may know where she's headed. I believe she might be on that next street over. I went to block south as well. Not seeing her down here. There's a little alleyway here, though. Yeah, I'm not seeing anyone who matches that description at the moment. We have, looks like we've got another pass through. Nope, that's not a pass through. I'm wondering if she may be back closer to where you currently are, because I'm getting nothing down here. I'll head back towards you. Sounds good. Yeah, I just popped up to this street as well. I wasn't sure whereabouts on the street you were, but uh, yeah, it's... It's uh, not looking good. She may have put some good distance on. Oh, no, that's the wrong color. Wrong color. I was going to say I thought I might have a possible suspect, but it turns out that that's a... a bold African-American gentleman, not a female, so that definitely can't be who we're looking for. <laughs> yeah. Well, I saw somebody with the red skirt, but they had right. a... Uh, 
a gray shirt instead of a black shirt. So yeah, I find it quite interesting. As soon as they're looking for someone that like has a red skirt, every woman and their dog has a red skirt. Mm -hmm. Like it's just totally convenient. <laughs> yeah, might have given us a slip on this one. Or we could always wait for dispatch to give us an updated twenty, but. Yeah, that's not who we're looking for. Yeah, it's, uh, she's definitely, uh, doing good at evading. Yeah, she sure is. Uh, I'm just gonna check to the south here again, see if I missed her on my first pass. Well, I'm gonna head to the east. Hey man, how's it going? Well, hopefully uh, dispatch will get an updated location here soon, because she's, uh, she's wily. Yes, it looks like she may have moved west. Uh, hang on, I might have someone on the opposite of the street there. Well, they've oh, got a light. That's a light grey. Not black. Yeah, that's not the female we're looking for. Red skirt, but nothing else matches. Yeah, that was the one that I saw that I was like, oh, wrong colour. Right. <laughs> she's, it looks like she's walking back and forth along that street because she was heading the other way when I saw her. Yes. Uh... No luck up here to the north so far. Just thought I'd go and double, double check, do another sweep up here. Yeah. Got another female that is similar to the description of the one that we're looking for, but she's got a blue skirt, not a red skirt, so that's not how we look. Yeah, it really does appear as if she's given us a slip at this point. Mm-hmm. Although it isn't a big problem, there will be a warrant out for her arrest, so I'm sure at some point she will be caught and brought to justice. Alright, well, I'll make my way back to the patrol car. I see we're just about at the end of our shift here. We are. We are getting really close to the end of our shift. Now she's probably going to jump out of the woodwork and the chase will be on. <laughs> ah, yeah. Wouldn't surprise me. Well, that is most certainly annoying, but it is the way things do go sometimes. Mm-hmm. One nineteen. Uh, that wanted person is going to be out of my jurisdiction, and I'm going to be ten nineteen over. That was some some close maneuvers. <laughs> right. One nineteen, you can show me ten forty two, ten seven. 
Alrighty guys, that is going to be that for this episode of Police Simulator Patrol Officers. I do hope that you enjoyed that episode, of course, and once again, a big thank you to Geezer for coming out and being a partner for a day. Really do appreciate it, sir. It was uh, wonderful to get to join you out on the streets again. It's been, uh, as I said, far too long, and it's uh, always a good time to hang out with you and put some perps in the old cells. Yes, it has been far too long. But that is going to be it from me for this episode, and until the next episode, take care.